Standard value theorem tells you is that if you have a continuous graph, meaning that you're not picking up your pen, there's no breaks in the graph, it's like you can drag your pencil or pen along the graph without picking it up, that you know, if you were to go from, let's say, this point right here to this point right here, okay, you're going to hit all the y values in between this y coordinate and that y coordinate because it's not like all of a sudden you're going to just like pick up your pen and then move it to here. If it's continuous, you're going to, again, you're going to hit all the y values that are in between the y coordinate of this point and the y coordinate of this point because it's continuous. But the application, how we use intermediate value theorem when we're working with polynomials and finding zeros, okay, zeros are where the graph crosses the x-axis, is that say we're given a table like so. Notice here's some x values, here's some y values. Notice the y values, positive, 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 negative. So what happened here between negative 1 and 0? Well, the graph had to go from positive 1 to negative 2. Let's draw a graph of that, okay, just to get a sense of this. So if we were to plot these points, let's see, negative 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so that would be right up here. Negative 2, 6, 5, 6. Okay, we're up to here. Uh, negative 1, 1, we're down to here. Uh, 0, we're at negative 2. Okay, so if this is a continuous graph, that means this graph, say for example, like this, right? And what's happening? So between x equals negative 1, okay, and x equals 0, in between these two x coordinates, the graph is going from positive to negative. So that means in between negative 1 and 0, there must be a 0, meaning an x intercept. The graph has to cross the x axis, okay? If we continue along here, we go negative positive, okay, again, we're going from a negative y value to a positive y value. So in between 1 and 2, there must also be a 0. Okay, and then we go from positive to positive. Positive to positive, it's not crossing the x-axis. It's only when it changes from positive to negative or from negative to positive that we know that the graph is crossing the x-axis and that you're going to have a, a 0 or an intercept or a root or a solution, however you want to say it. And these are the x-coordinates that that zero is going to occur between.